Hey guys, it's EJ here from NZ Fight Report. We're here in Wellington at Capital Punishment 18. The crowd tonight is absolutely electric here. We've got MMA and Muay Thai tonight. We're going to talk to fighters of the New Zealand 69.8 kg title fight. Uh, so we've got James O'Connor and we've got Hayden Todd. We catch up with them a little later. We've also got a four-man eliminating tournament. So four guys get in the ring. One person's name gets drawn out of the hat and they get to pick whoever they want to fight out of the rest of the three. Those two fight, the other two fight, the winners face off in the final. It's going to be really exciting. Stay tuned as we check out the fighters. I'm real excited, um, quite pleased to fight this calibre of fighter. I pretty much trained for everything I could, trained for the worst and trained for the best. Oh, super hungry, eh? Yeah, nothing quite like it, eh? Like having your hand held up at the end of a fight. Because they're all quite dangerous in their own way. Um, I was supposed to fight Kirk at the end of last year. And I think um, his trainers at Mark are still quite keen to make that happen. So um, if I get a chance for that, I'll probably take it. I'm feeling pretty nervous. I'm feeling excited. Whatever happens out in the ring, you know, if you're going with a plan, your plan's just going to get disrupted. Very confident. Uh, I've been training, training very hard. Uh, yeah, I'm quite excited to be fighting at home. Yeah, it should be a, should be a good tournament. It should be a good four man. Leon Tangaroa was the first name drawn out of a hat, meaning that the South Island fighter had his choice of opponent for the first bout. He chose hometown fighter Andrew Bloodbath McGrath which set up the other semi-final between Kirk Davis of Featherston Muay Thai and Mark Daniels of Combat Room. McGrath was measured in his approach and used strong leg kicks early on to avoid Tangaroa's attack and stay busy on the counter. He won by unanimous decision after turning the momentum against Tangaroa in the third round and dominating the exchanges in the clinch. Daniels versus Davis. This was a close fight and could have gone either way. Daniels used his height and reach to land kicks from the outside and counter with a straight right hand. But as the fight continued, Davis had more luck catching his kicks and tripping the Wellington fighter from in close. So in the final, we've got Andrew Bloodbath McGrath of MGI Wellington against Kirk Davis from Featherston Muay Thai. Coming up is a highly anticipated match. McGrath fought a completely different fight here, exiting his corner with aggression and he aimed to put Davis on the back foot and he did exactly that. McGrath caught Davis with a barrage of punches, knees and elbows that caused the referee to step in and call the fight in McGrath's favour before the end of the first round. With only one loss to his name, and now a hard-fought four-man tournament win, McGrath has cemented himself as one of the rising stars in Wellington's amateur Muay Thai scene. Next, we've got the New Zealand 69.8 kg title fight between Hayden Todd of Strikeforce Auckland and James G.K. O'Connor from MTI Wellington. We caught up with the fighters beforehand to see what their thoughts were about the match. I always um, come prepared for my fights 100%, train a good month and a half before, to make sure I'm always fully prepared for the person I'm fighting. It's nice and lightweight. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Have you done anything specific lately to cater no. towards James' stuff? No, nothing really, just the usual stuff. Good to what you know. The, the chance to be New Zealand number one it's middleweight is always a big achievement for me. I hope I can do it tonight. And in the New Zealand title fight, Todd came in early with aggressive kicks and clinch work. O'Connor had some early success with damage delivered to the legs and body of Todd, but Todd fell into his rhythm and managed to counter O'Connor's attacks. After a very even fight, Todd took a split decision, earning the vacant bout. Well guys, that's the end of Capital Punishment 18 here in Wellington. We've got a new New Zealand title holder, Hayden Todd. Congratulations from Strike Force in Auckland. Thought I'd maybe start off a bit slow, but um, once I found my feet, found what was working, went back to my corner, I think it was the end of the third round. He was happy with what he told me to do in the second, so he told me to follow up with it, keep up with the switch kicks, inside leg kicks, go for the ribs again if I get him to open up, but I um, mainly keep taking out his right arm, and um, I stuck with it, seemed to work, he didn't want to throw it, and uh, tied him up in the grapple a few times, catch my breath, and that seemed to work as well. <laughs> so overall I think it was a good fight, it was a hard fight, it wasn't definitely not, a, not an easy win, definitely split, so happy with the result. And we've got a new four-man champion, Andrew Bloodbath McGrath, took on Kirk Davis of Featherston Muay Thai in the final of the four-man competition. Uh, I think I came out off a lot of adrenaline from winning the first one and just, uh, felt really good about it. And uh, I heard he had a tough one in the first one, so yeah, came out, probably took a few cheap shots. But yeah, it's the nature of a four-man, I suppose. So that's it here from Capital Punishment 18. Again, I'll catch you guys later.